Hi guys, in this video, we will learn how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using the bullet payment method. Okay, we already learned that how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using the reducing balance method and street line balance method separately in the previous video. If you have not watched that videos, please watch that video link in the description below. So today, let's start to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using this method. Okay. Alright, here in this set we have uh, some parameters of time value of money that is this one, okay. But uh, before I start to put the value of these parameters, let me tell you one thing here. Under this method, the interest payment is fixed over the period that is our this column will be fixed over the period, okay. Now let's provide some random data for these parameters, okay. So click here and now for present value, I'm going to give $75,000. Okay. For number of years, I'm going to put three years. For annual rate of return, I'm going to type 12%. All right. Now for compounding method, number of periods and periodic interest rate. We already know that that is how to calculate it. If you don't know, then please watch my first video of this series. That is how to prepare the loan amortization schedule by using the reducing balance method okay now let's come here and let's calculate the fixed interest payment and it can be calculated by dividing the total interest by the number of period so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one divide by this one and now press the enter key all right here the value is showing zero because we don't have any interest amount here Okay, once we will, you know, calculate the total interest, the value will be affected here. Okay, now for future value, it can be simply calculated by, you know, adding the total interest and present value. Okay, so let's calculate it. So press the equal to sign and now click this one plus this one and now press the enter. All right, now for total interest, it can be calculated by simply, you know, multiplying the number of periods and periodic interest rate to the present value okay so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click this one times this one times this one and now press the enter key all right you can see we have a uh, you know 750 fixed interest payment okay all right now based on this information now let's prepare the loan amortization schedule okay so first click here and now put the value zero okay and now click here and now provide the present value and it can provide by linking the cell reference okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one and now let's fix this cell by pressing the fo key and now press the enter key all right now let's type the value one as a period one okay and select these two cell and drag from here to up to 1095 because we have used three years okay but when we will you know convert this year into daily it becomes 1095 okay so drag up to 1095 all right okay and now for beginning balance so click here and it can be you know calculated by simply linking the cell reference that is from this one okay so press the equal to sign and now click this one now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value okay all right now for payment it can be simply calculated by adding the interest amount and principal amount okay so so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now click here plus click here and now press the enter key and now click here and put the pointer here and double click on the corner to drag down the value okay all right now for interest we have already calculated the fixed interest every period okay so we will just you know link the sale so for this press the equal to sign and now click this one and now let's fix this sale by pressing the fo key and now press the enter key now click here and put the pointer here and double click on this corner to drag down the value okay all right now for principal let's use the if function so press the equal to sign tap the if now press the tab and now let's you know make the condition if this equals to this one now let's fix this cell by pressing the fo key then what will shown here this one and now let's fix this you know cell by pressing the fo key otherwise zero and now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key all right now click here 
and put the pointer here okay and now double click on this corner to drag down the value okay all right now you can see at this period our pencil amount is showing all right now click here and uh, Let's calculate the ending valence and it can be calculated by simply you know subtracting the principal amount from the beginning valence okay so first press the equal to sign and now click this one minus this one now press the enter all right now click here and put the pointer here and now double click on this corner to drag down the value okay all right now you can see at this period our loan is amortized okay that is the ending valence is showing zero okay all right now let's hide this uh, unnecessary data okay to make the table better okay so for this first you know we will use the conditional formatting okay so first click here and select from in here to here and now press ctrl shift button from your keyboard and now press the down arrow from your keyboard to select the entire table and scroll up and click on the conditional formatting under the home tab okay and now click on new rule and now choose this one and now click here and now let's make the you know condition so press the equal to sign and let's you know put this you know cell difference so for this so first we have to you know fix this you know column okay, not the rule so that we have to you know put the dollar first then we have to put the alphabet that is the g column and the value will be you know five okay because we will you know check the condition from here okay so put the value five all right so that means if this cell will greater than this one then what will be seen in this you know table yes hidden effect okay so first so click on the format and choose the font tab and now click on this arrow to select the color and choose white background okay and now click on okay and now again click on okay all right now click here and now I scroll down and you can see our unnecessary data has been successfully hidden okay all right now let's check the you know conditional result okay by you know changing the compounding method okay so suppose i am going to change the compounding method from monthly to annually we can see the you know effect in this table okay similarly if i choose this one we can see if i choose this one you, you can see if i choose this one you can see if i choose this one you can see similarly if i choose this one you can see okay that means our loan amortization schedule is correct all right and it's working properly all right now click here and i am going to choose monthly for now all right and now let's you know verify the total interest amount okay so to verify this amount we have to you know add the interest column from here to here that is from period 1 to 36 period okay and we can see this amount is exactly equal to this okay that means our loan amortization is correct similarly if i you know similarly if i you know verify this amount to the table we can you know add up this value from here to here you can see this one which is exactly equal to this one all right all right and uh, the principal amount is 75000 okay and we can see all right so in every aspect our loan amortization is showing same as the calculated value okay that means our calculation is right okay so guys it's a very easy that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you have any query regarding this video please ask me in the comment box below and if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next method of loan amortization schedule signing off